I'm Candy. Hi, I'm Missy. Last time we talked about the joy of being a wife. And part of the joy of being a wife is being a homemaker or making a home. Candy, you were telling me that, and give us some examples of some specific things of how you decorate your home. Maybe for the liturgical year, you were saying? Yeah, we do. We mm -hmm. um, Right now, the, the church is in a season of Lent. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Lent is a we use the color of purple and we have this same wreath on, on our table too it's a thicket wreath and we use these these nails it's, these are um, these are actually railroad mm -hmm. stakes and these are polished but ours ours <laughs> aren't but even there's a story behind this because um, before Lent started we were getting our things together and um, my son he's seven years old Nathan he comes in and he he remembers that we put out the the uh, nails that Jesus was um, to, to symbolize that Jesus was nailed on the cross. Well, he brings in sheetrock screws. Oh. <laughs> he says, "Mama, I got your nails ready," and he puts it on on the purple cloth. And so then we go together and get the mm -hmm. nails that these nails to put on the table. And it's just tonight. It's just very sweet because he he remembers. It's something that he knows mm -hmm. every year that we put on the table, and it means something to him, and it means something to us. And we decorate for Advent also, Missy. And um, Advent is also a purple season, and the kids go out and get the the Jesse tree, which is very special to them and to us. And Whenever William was little, he used to go and get the get the Jesse tree for their family and his siblings, and his dad used to cut it for them when they were really little too. And he used to get the evergreens from the grandmother's house in over in Patterson. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a tradition handed down mm -hmm. in our family, and it's it's a beautiful tradition. So Missy, tell me about this clear vinyl tablecloth that you have here. That is from Walmart, Thrifty Moms. It's a twin sheet, a purple twin sheet on clearance. Did and you have a coupon? I did not use a coupon <laughs> that time. It was on clearance, <laughs> on sale. Covering it with the clear vinyl plastic. And we also put the prayers under it in a sheet protector, being very practical because moms know we have to wipe everything. Part That's of homemaking. Right. Yes. <laughs> we also put under it, maybe if it's somebody's birthday, you can slip the card under, little notes. Prayers. You can change the colors of a sheet or a piece of material. It's very and, practical. And what are these prayers here? What are they called? Those are I don't know. What the, that's the <laughs> ask me again. What's what are the these prayer? prayers called? Those are the prayer of Zechariah that we're okay. using for Lent. The Canticle of Zechariah oh, that okay. Raylan printed out. We put it in under there. We'll change it for the Easter season. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. I might try doing that at home myself using the. Vinyl tablecloth yeah. over the over the bed sheet, mm -hmm. the purple bed sheet. If William would let me, I don't think we have anything else to share. Missy, what about you? I am done. <laughs> well, goodbye. Goodbye. Happy homemaking. <laughs> <laughs> Next time with tea. <laughs>